The digital economy is the economy. The pace of change is relentless. Customers don't buy brands anymore, they join brands. Those that accept change and embrace it the most within our industry are the only ones that are going to survive. The digital economy to us is simply the economy. It used to be a discipline within our agency, now digital is everything. Digital transformation means that we can change the way that people experience our brands like never before. You can think of the role of advertising now almost as one of service design. Our role is to ensure that the brands appear to consumers at the right moment in the right context and at the right time. And that's why we've moved away from a model of broadcast to one of experience. In an age of utter transparency, businesses that never had to connect with their customers before are looking for a partner that can reach out to their customers in a way that's more precise and more humanly relevant than ever before. It's very much about how are we completing an omni-channel experience in a way that fundamentally helps their business, not just their brand. Think about Apple and Amazon. Every piece of product they launch and service it, they all have complementary value and create such a ecosystem harder for consumer to switch to the competitor. The great thing about the digital economy is everything is measurable. So we've got to prove our effectiveness in more ways that show our value to our clients. The great thing about the digital economy and all of the limitless opportunities that presents is that means that there are really no boundaries to creativity. The digital economy has evolved uh, in the last few years specifically around creativity because of consumer participation. It has become the realisation that science can inform art, I think data can inform creative, and as we gather more and more insights and more and more data points from our key partners, Google, Facebook, Twitter, Amazon, we are able to more scientifically inform what our creative strategy should look like. We've always talked about audiences and audiences and interactions with media. The ability to now control for that more tightly, to narrow cast into specific audiences, and using data, understanding their context in order to deliver a, a very salient message. We used to look at a very traditional creative brief that had a certain communications output. Now we're looking more at user journeys that encompass the entire user experience. For us, it's about bringing the moments of inspiration and commercial interaction closer together. Something we call brand commerce. One example of brand commerce we've created is a VR shopping experience. So imagine you're sitting in the front row of a fashion show. If you like an item, you just simply tap on the side of the headset and it adds it straight into your shopping basket. So there you're going from a moment of inspiration and a brand experience directly to a transaction. In order for us to create easy and simple solutions for our clients, we need to bring the best parts of Dentsu Aegis Network together in curated teams specifically to help solve their business challenges. The whole way that we're set up as a business is to have pockets of specialities and pockets of experts around the network. What really sets us apart from our peers is that we can pull on all those expertise at the same time. We look at ourselves often as conductors. We orchestrate a number of different parties around clients so that we're able to offer the best possible service and solution. For me, Dentsu Aegis Network is uniquely positioned with complementary capability across the network. We can solve three problems for our clients. First, we can help our client to acquire new customer by using media capability, brand experiences, and commerce. Secondly, we can use data and CRM to retain the customer that we acquire for them. Third, but not least, we can harness the data we capture to create new products and services for our clients to capture new customer markets. I think the next five years are going to be this constant state of change. And I think that for us, the future is very much the merging of transactional-based selling with more branded-based emotional selling. And I think the sweet spot is in the middle of those two things. I think data will be a new currency. And for company cannot adopt to test and learn, quickly launch product and services to the market, those are the ones we'll be left behind. We're in a good place from the front foot, certainly versus our peers in achieving that 100% digital economy. And the next three to five years will be incredibly interesting. <laughs>